Subcutaneous administrations result in a different serum concentrations over time compared to intramuscular administrations. Because if you put the injection depot deep within the skeletal muscle, you see that serum concentrations of testosterone rise quite rapidly. Regardless of ester, an oil-based steroid administration peaks serum concentrations within the first two days. This information is currently unknown for subcutaneous administrations because generally speaking, the medical community only does intramuscular administrations. So that's where the data is stemming from and in these peaks and valleys is where a lot of aromatization and 5-alpha reductase activity occurs but when you do a subcutaneous administration the serum concentrations come up a little bit slower serum estradiol and serum dihydrotestosterone is now much more favorable much more easy to manage there's not so much conversion because the peaks and valleys are closer together there's a more narrow band of serum concentrations uh, limiting the use of other ancillaries and keeping the side effects at bay 